The Collection Log. In the previous episode of Generate Task, we got a bunch of clue scroll uniques, starting with five new ones from hard clues and five medium clue uniques as well. We then got the final flag from Troll Brewing to green log another minigames page, completed the final elite achievement diary for the diary cape, and finished up with five more medium clue uniques. Today is the day that we will complete all the remaining elite tasks on the spreadsheet, and as such, we'll be finishing the Generate Task series that we started over four years ago. The first task on our list is a new unique from the Wildy Bosses, and for that I'll be killing RTO to try and get my first unique item there. Get ready for over 15 minutes of action-packed tasks with a bunch of surprises along the way. And trust me when I say this, you do not want to miss the end of the video, so stay tuned. Now before we get started on the RTO grind, I'd first like to thank Red Magic for partnering up with me to bring you guys this final episode. Red Magic hooked me up with their latest version of their flagship product, the Red Magic 8S Pro Gaming Smartphone. I was in dire need of a mobile phone upgrade for a while now and I've been loving the Red Magic 8S Pro ever since I got it. It's been given a more refined look with 3D nano etching for a sleek finish alongside built-in colorful RGB lights that are fully customizable. It runs on the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor and comes with a 6000 mAh battery that fully charges in a matter of less than an hour. If you're someone that enjoys playing mobile games a lot, you're probably familiar with your phone heating up quite a lot after a long gaming session. Now the Red Magic 8S Pro has an upgraded ICE 12.0 cooling system with new duct structure and cooling gel which completely removes that risk. With a simple switch on the side of the phone you can also go between the default mode and the game lobby where you can load up any game you want while optimizing the phone's performance. Overall the phone has just gone an amazing improvement since the last version so I highly recommend checking it out. Use the link in the description to check out the product if you're interested and level up your mobile experience. Thank you so much once again to Red Magic for sponsoring this video. Now let's get started on those final tasks. Looks like we got our setup ready. We're gonna bring out the Bofa for another round. Haven't really used it in a while, so that's always nice when it's still useful. We don't really risk that much. Very easily replaceable gear. We've got the Ice Barrage to freeze RTO. Let's see how this goes. Will we get the unique straight away? Probably. <laughs> Let's go. Hopefully not too many PKers or too many other people there, but I have a feeling that it's gonna be pretty crowded from what I've seen other people talk about. So let's find out. Oh my god, it's all going down already. What is happening? Oh shit. First kill, could it be? Could it be? Close. Dude, I thought I got something there. I genuinely thought I got something, but it's the combat task. It shows you how many points you get nowadays as well, I guess. There's 10 KC, nothing so far. Elite clue number one, still not using Ring of Wealth Eye, but that's fine because we get plenty of these, as you can tell. Lovely. It's not going too badly, but I guess we'll lose the world now. Kill number 20, magic logs. At least now, when we have to find a new world, we can peek. So that's nice. Yo, 50 kill count, let's go. Just got attacked by the worst PKer ever who almost died, but he got very lucky. No way! No way! <laughs> oh, it's only 200k, that's so lame. <laughs> We got a kill! Elite clue number two already. Dude, it's happening again. It's the same as it was at uh, Calvarian. We don't use a Ring of Wealth Eye, but we just keep getting elite clues. That's the second one, 54 KC. 100 kills into the grind already. We've been attacked a few more times, but PKers are not great here, let's be honest. We'll just escape every single time we get attacked. I'm not gonna die a single time on this grind. You know what? I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. I got attacked by someone's alt to <laughs> secure the world for him and I killed the old and it's apparently 255k so we're gonna destroy that um he had 160 dragonstone bolts for whatever reason I don't know why he's using that on an alt account that is just made to rag but fair enough so for for like the last fucking 30 minutes I got like three RTO kills because it's just constant PKers and bots everywhere. And now I get one kill in a world and I get an elite clue. <laughs> like, fine, I'll go do it. Like, I guess we're getting like one kill an hour at this point. This is ridiculous. Hey, back to 50 elite caskets in the bank. That's nice. Up to 150 kill count. It's been a while since we had to teleport out or 
get PK'd, so I feel like we're on a bit of a streak here. I don't know how long it's gonna last. That guy's scared of me, he's not gonna attack me, is he? Kill 200? Is it the one? No, it's not, of course it's not. Kill 250 without any uniques. We're over the drop rate for any of the new uniques and we haven't seen any dragon items yet either. Oh wow, 300 kill count already, yay! Well, there's something. We have a dragon two-handed sword. Hooray. LOL! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What is that? How much is this? 1.4 mil! <laughs> no way! We PK'd a 1.4 mil key. <laughs> Ah, beautiful. I guess I can give that to someone. I don't need it for myself. I guess we can give that to someone. <laughs> Let's fucking go, baby! <laughs> oh my god. 2.8 mil! <laughs> no fucking way! 350, Casey. I guess it's been a while since we had an elite clue. That was probably... Hundred and fifty. Oh, this guy is back. Oh! We almost got him. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what was I even saying? Oh yeah, I got an elite clue. Yay, number four in 379 kills. It's been a while since the previous one. 400 KC for the back-to-back -back Renard Seeds. Yep. Clue scroll number five. 450. We will get it before 500. Otherwise, I will alk one shark. Kill 500. The shark is getting alked. Only pain. Over double the drop rate. What is it with me and Wildy tasks, man? Every single time I go for one of these useless... Well, they're not really useless, but... Every time I go for some wildy grind, I always go dry. That's just my faith. But I guess it balances out with other content, so that's fine. I saw a loot beam. I thought I got something. But it's just the first dragon pickaxe on this grind. Woohoo! And it's only 1.5 mil nowadays. <laughs> what the fuck? 500k, no. 550. When will it be over? Never lucky, man. What is this? 600 kill count. Elite clue number six. Pretty much on drop rate. Just over 600 KC. Here it comes. Monumental achievement while we're still on this shit grind. <laughs> 50 million range XP. We have been shooting bows quite a bit on all of this PVM action, you know? All the raids, all the bosses. 50 million XP. The second skill to reach that after hit points now. <laughs> I killed the guy for 500k again. <laughs> I think I almost died there, but that's fine. We got him. <laughs> that wasn't close, trust me. I can't be bothered letting myself die to someone again. I'm just gonna see what it is. Oh god, a bunch of trash. Down the drain it goes. Bye. <laughs> There's another elite. I feel like it took a while for that one. We're almost at 800 KC now. Kill number 800 without a unique. Uh, why? Why? Why do I not have a unique? Hello? I don't want to be here anymore, okay? Listen, there's too many people here. I have to hop too many worlds, and I am simply not having a good time anymore. So how about you give me a unique, I can leave you to it, and we can both be happy. He's so... He's... He's so lucky! What is this? Why is this here? He's just standing here. Give it to me! <laughs> I guess we can get that here as well. A longbone. The first one in 891 kills, which I guess means we're also dry on a longbone. <laughs> oh my god! No fucking way it happened again. He's so lucky. I didn't even pray piety. Oh my fucking god. Kill nine? Hundred. This is getting stupid, okay? Please <laughs> give me something. 900. That's like, I should have nine unique rolls. I've had two. Two dragon items that I don't care. Come on. There it is. The 100th rune pickaxe of the grind. Uh. Uh. Well, we reached four digits and we do not have the drop. 1000 kill count. What is happening? I called it. I said it was gonna be another- Fuck this game, man. I'm out of here. <laughs> I just killed this guy and I have two loot keys because he had one on him. 
300k and 270k. <laughs> It's about time we get another one of these as well. Clue Scroll Elite number 8 at 1040 kill count. Yeah, that's cool. Clear. You, Salukas. You, you. Well, there's a third Dragon Two Hander that I got while I was on the phone with my dad, so I couldn't even. Whatever, man. We're just collecting Dragon Two Handers. We're not getting anything else. It's fine. Kill number 1100. Supplies are running low. It's day 73. My family hasn't seen me in weeks. They're probably wondering if I'm still alive. I'm not. I'm dead inside. The fuck is that guy doing? I killed him because you killed him? What do you mean killed? I killed him! I killed him! How did he- What? Wait! I killed him! Huh? How much is this? 26 mil! Oh my god! What even happened? <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't even do anything! No fucking way. Well, I guess I'll give that to someone. Jesus Christ. I'm completely out of blood runes, and I'm in pain. It's time to spend money on things I don't want to spend money on right now, but we are so dry, we are literally entering unseen territory here. Almost five times the drop rate. 1,200. Oh! An uncut ruby drop. 15 kills until we are five times the drop rate, man. Uh, five times! Elite clue, number nine. Oh, hey, another clue. What the hell? That was literally like five kills later. What is happening? What is happening with the clues? Another one. <laughs> we went dry a little bit. Now we're almost fully caught up again to the elite clue drop rate. Number 11. Actually got another dragon to hand her again. Are you kidding me? How do I keep getting these now? Like this? <laughs> oh, well, there's a dragon pickaxe. 1.4 mil. I may as well just high all kid. Oh, yes, 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 we got it. Oh my god, we got it. We actually got it. Out, go. We have the claws. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's go, baby. We're free. Fuck the bear. Until next year, maybe, somewhere. I don't care. Fuck you. I'm so... Oh, I'm glad that's over. I'm so glad that's over and done with. Jesus Christ. 1,282 RTO kills. Now we have all the upgrades readily available for any revenant weapon we might get. Because we have the claws, we have the fangs of Venenatus, <laughs> and we have the skull of Vetian as well. So no matter what we get first from revenants, we'll be able to upgrade it. So that's pretty cool. But my god, that was over five times the drop rate for that. At least we had some fun along the way with some PKers, but that took way too long. That was like three weeks of RTO or something. In total, we also have 49 mil on the loot tab. 12,000 mahogany logs, 162 renar seeds, 94 snapdragon seeds, and some other random stuff. Stuff that we don't really care too much about. 7,000 cannonballs is nice, I suppose. But yeah, we can finally move on. 1,080 log slots down to the final six tasks. Let's fucking go. Finally, don't have to deal with all of those bots and other people doing RTO and all the PKers. But, I mean, it was quite fun every now and then i like the fact that we killed some people as well especially that one guy for 26 mil that was pretty cool definitely the highlight of the task other than you know actually finishing it let's just hope that i don't get the dagon high task now because i want to do something that is not in the wildy okay just let me do shades of morton we still have two zealot pieces to get from shades of morton so we still have two shades of morton unique tasks let's just get one of those Thank you. Perfect. Cool. Nice and chill. Some Shades of Morton. Let's get Zealot Rope piece number three. Lovely. Just what we were looking for. Hold the phone. I was about to cut some redwood logs because, I mean, I only have two in the bank. So we definitely need to stock up on a few of those. But we can use 10 gold keys, ladies and gentlemen. What if we just get it? What if we just quickly go and grab ourselves a new Zealot piece with 10 chances at it? Let's see if we're lucky today. Could it be? Could we just complete a task instantly after spending three weeks at a stupid bear? Lost one. Never lucky. Okay, we keep this one just to come back in here, but it is what it is. Let's go chop some redwoods. Oh, hey, a heart clue from a nest. Beautiful. 
All right, we have almost 200 redwood logs. I think that's enough to get started with. So now it's time to prepare the rest of it. Let's get some sacred oil that we can use. We still have 50 in here, actually, but I guess we'll need to get some more as well. We also have some bracelets left, which I didn't even realize. So that's nice. Oh, and Urium remains. <laughs> like, oh, I love past me who let me some... Uh, resources that I can still use, but obviously I'll have to get some more. I'll probably do batches of like a hundred. All right, we've got about 108 Urium remains and redwood pyre logs, so let's use all of these. Let's see how many gold keys we get. All right, done using all the remains and we have a total of 91 keys now, so we'll be using 90, keeping one of course for future farming. Let's see if we get something in 90 keys and we'll have 100 chests opened in total. All right, let's get started. Can we instantly complete the task with these? Let's find out. Purple over here. Oh my god, another swamp bark scroll straight away. We get lucky. Oh my god, we got it. Zealot row bottom baby on the first inventory of the keys we just farmed. So that means we have plenty of keys left for the final piece that we still need as well. That is beautiful. Now we're just missing the rope top and we'll be done with Shades of Morton green log. That is gonna be nice. If we get lucky with the rest of the keys, we might even get the back-to-back -back task. So let's stay here. Let's not teleport out just yet because we might just have to get the rope top instantly as well. Also, that was 26 keys opened for that one. So pretty... I feel like I've been lucky on all the zealot pieces so far. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe the last one is gonna take ages. After a long bear grind... A nice and quick task is always very welcome. Leaves us with five tasks remaining. Still one more Shades of Morton. Do we get the back-to-back? -back? It is not the back-to-back. -back. It's five new uniques from Easy Clues, which is the last clue task in the Elite tier as well. Shouldn't take too long, I want to say. Easy Clues are usually pretty quick. It's time to steal from some more ham members. Let's see if we get a cool one on the very last clue task we'll have to do. Okay, I think we're ready. I still have this one casket from last time, which I'm gonna open because that's gonna put us at 780 easy clues opened. And then we can do 10 caskets every time again. We're at 105 unique, so we're gonna round it up to 110. Do we get one straight away? Of course we don't. We get two purple switch, which is lovely. All right, it's time to get stacking. We're also gonna put the achievement diary cape to good use for the first time on the easy clue, so that's gonna be nice as well. Why do I always do this? I wanted to click the clue and I clicked the cask. I didn't mean to. I didn't get anything though, okay? I just got some purple suns. <laughs> We're stacking nine. <laughs> Let's start with the first unique. Here we go. How about one of those capes we're missing? Team cape I, team cape X. That was a load of garbage. A black kite shield G. Next 10 caskets. Here we go. There we go, Black Blade Body H5 kicking us off with the first unique of the task, looking beautiful. Let's see if we can get something else in the next six as well. Back to back, no. Another duplicate right there, and nothing else. Okay, one unique though, 800 total easy clues now, stacking up very nicely. Hopefully we don't have to get to 900 on this task though, but there's one out of five. Time for unique number two. Ah, what was that? Ew. Ew, 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 ew. At least we got a duplicate Black Wizard Hat G, but other than that, that was disgustingly bad. We made it all the way here <laughs> to, to the banker in the Tarn Slayer for some good luck. Let's get unique number two. Ew, man. Like, what is that? That is ridiculous. Alright, we're at the small island at Fossil Island. Perfect. Just what we like to see. <laughs> 51 clues done on this task, only one unique so far. Two clogs for me, please. Yay! Black wizard rope trimmed. Okay, second unique after 53 clues opened this task. Can we get another one in this opening? Ooh, the back to back as well with another duplicate. Jesus, what is this? Look, two skirts and one of them is new. We'll take that. Can we get another one? Or is that too much to ask for? Maybe, maybe three is a bit too- Oh shit, a master clue. I forgot I can get those. Oh my god, master clue. Let's go. I accidentally wasted one as well. Fuck. <laughs> okay, we're back. Two more caskets after doing that master clue. One more unique? No, just another pantaloons duplicate that we already had earlier. Oh no, wait, that was red elegant legs. They look similar. Next 10. Fuck, I didn't get a unique. <laughs> 850 easy clues now. A few duplicates there, but not a new one. Time for unique number four at Xeneris Bank. Oh, hey! <laughs> I was like, shit, I opened the clue again when I got a master clue, but then I got a unique, so it's all fine. Ancient Roblex and master clue number two. Beautiful, we're at 80 clues opened. 
I mean, I guess I may as well open this one as well. Fuck it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Trash. But we'll do a master clue, and we only have one unique left to get now. Maybe? Bucket. <laughs> and we're gonna finish the task at a bank that no one ever visits. Downstairs at the woodcutting guild with the ends. <laughs> one more unique. Surely we can get it here. I hella lied, but we did get some duplicates. Unfortunately, no new one. 91 clues done. Let's see if we can finish in a hundred clues on this task. Unique first casket. Call it a day. Close. The same duplicate we got earlier. Master clue on the third one. Well, that's not too bad. Three masters already and 94 caskets. We're back. Plus one master casket. Well, shit. That's a load of garbage. Here we go. Oh, double duplicate. Nothing at all. Ten clues until we hit 900. We have 111 done on this task so far. We've we've had our fun doing easy clues. It's time to finish it once and for all with the final unique of the elite tier. There's a master clue on the first one. All right, let's do that one instead. Can we get a unique? Load of garbage, man. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. 900 easy clues in total. Okay, Cam Dazal is gonna give us luck. Let's get it. Shit game. This is it. I've been saying this is it quite a few times now, but I think this is really a time where we finish the task. Oh my god, we got a team cape! Let's go! We actually got a team cape! Holy shit! Team cape, I! <laughs> what a perfect unique to end the task on, dude. Holy shit, Yatizo Bank was the lucky one after all. Now we have three capes without a duplicate. Look at that. Team Cape I, Zero, and Cape of Skulls. Just missing Team Cape X now. That is good. I'm happy with that. That is beautiful. We still have two caskets, but we'll just keep that in the bank for the Master Tier when we get our first easy clue task there. A few more duplicates as well, but we got the new one, and that is all that matters. We're done with another task. Four tasks to go. Two easy ones, two hard ones. Let's find out what's, what it's going to be. We did 139 easy clues on this task, up to 918, which is what we have at the end of the Elite tier. Beautiful. We're done with clues. Easy clues done in about three days. Actually, it wasn't even three days. More like two and a half, if anything. The final 3%, the final four tasks. LMS, Nyx, Dagon High, and Shades of Morton, Green Log. A few quick ones to possibly very long ones. What's it gonna be? Shades of Morton. Okay, you remember, you know, we only just did the other one where we got the Zealot row bottom in 26 keys and we still have a bunch of keys in the bank that we prepared. So we might just go and green log it straight away. This could be instantly completed if we get lucky with the keys I still have in the bank. So let's find out if that's the case. Otherwise, we'll just get some more gold keys and this still shouldn't take too long at all. Here we go, starting with the first inventory. Do we instantly complete the task? Let's start with this one black key. We start with a rune scroll of Swamp Park again, just like last time. I'm just gonna drop it, I don't need it. See if we get it from the brown keys. Let me just have it so I don't have to get more redwood pyre logs and more shade remains and get more keys. Just let me instantly complete it, please. Okay, it doesn't look like it's gonna be this inventory yet, but we still have 50 more gold keys remaining so plenty of chances where are my runes <laughs> what inventory number two. Oh, elite clue oh yeah that's true we can get those as well <laughs> uh let me just open this final key as well cool let's do the elite clue and then we have one more inventory to go let me have it in this inventory so i don't have to get more keys another elite clue god damn let's go shit okay well we have to get more keys that's fine time to get some more redwood pyre locks some more Shade remains. Some more keys. We've stocked up on the keys again. We have another 74 to use. I'm feeling good about them. Maybe some more elites as well, but see if we get the top. Ooh, another blood bark scroll. Don't need that. Another blood bark scroll. Two in the same inventory. All right, nothing on the first one. Please. Top. Damn, that's a lot of good alcaballs. Holy shit. Another blood bark scroll. Oh boy, I can already tell. I'm gonna go drive for this final piece because I got I got too lucky on the other three. Alright, please don't make me go cut more redwood logs. Just let me have it. 
Thank you. All I had to do was say please and ask nicely. On the first key of the inventory, we get the zealots roped up. Let's fucking go, dude. <laughs> nice. We have the full set and another green log added to our collection in the minigame stab. Shades of Morton fully completed. Uh, we love to see... Look at all these green logs, man. This is so nice. I am very happy that we're done. Uh, what do I do with the rest of the keys? I mean, we can get elite clues from them. I guess I may as well just open them, because when else am I going to come back here? Never again, probably. Maybe we'll get another elite clue. Another swamp bark scroll. And we'll keep the last key as well for when we have to come back here. Not too bad. Beautiful. No elite clue, but that's fine. Full zealot obtained. Three tasks remaining. Ended up opening 164 gold keys in total there. Obviously, a few after I got the drop already, but... That's what we had in total for that task. Even though we didn't get it from the keys we still had in the bank, we did get it fairly quickly afterwards. And now we have three tasks remaining. One quick one with the LMS, but the other two are still pretty rough, unless I get lucky, I suppose. Let's just get the LMS one over and done with. And then we have the two hard ones left. Because then I have the extra motivation of being so close to being done. Never mind. Never mind. We have to get... The Dagon High piece. This one, I'm, so I'm not really looking forward to it, man. I don't like Wildy stuff. We all know how it goes. RTO, we went super dry just recently. Let's just hope that this time around we don't get unlucky at another Wildy grind. Because that would not be fun. It's also a weekend coming up, so that doesn't make it any better either. <laughs> Well, I guess this is where we start. We only have 12 points, so that's a bit rough. I definitely want to get work on unlocking some things, like extending Dust Devils and Neck Creels again. I also really want to extend Revenants, because that is pretty much a must nowadays. Maybe we'll get a lucky on one of the Revenant tasks we will definitely get. Maybe we'll get a, a Revenant weapon along the way. That would be cool. I kind of also want to rework my block list for the Wildy Slayer, because these are not good for the Wildy Slayer. Um... But yeah, we need points for that, so we're gonna have to start working on that. Let's see what the first task is that we get from Crystalia. Some lesser demons. You know what, this is probably the first time I'm using cannon during Wildy Slayer, because I'm pretty sure on the first Dagon High task I didn't have any cannonballs. So I did that entire grind without a cannon. This time around we have like 25,000 though from all the Wildy boss kills and stuff like that, so hopefully that'll speed things up a little bit. I've also used the parchment on my fire cape, so we can use that one in Deeper Wildy without being afraid to lose it. So let's see how long it takes to get the first 10 or so keys before we do the first opening. Maybe we'll get lucky and instantly complete the task. Not really betting on that, but you never know what happens, right? Also, look at this cannon having 60 cannonballs in it. How nice is that? There it is, the first Larinsky on the third Slayer task. We got it. Okay, we have 100 points, so we can use that to extend Revenants. Hopefully, we'll get a few of those along the way. We'll see if we get lucky. I'm gonna just go ahead and extend Necreals as well once again. And then I'll do uh, Dust Devils later. 100 Black Demons. I think that's all right. See, these are the tasks we want to get on this grind. 244 Necreals. Yes, please. Also, thanks to us having the Elite combat achievements done now. Superior Slayer creatures are also 25% more common now, so we'll even get more of those. Okay, we finished the task, and oh my god, that task was insane. We got five superiors, so those gave us five keys, and then we also got five keys from the normal Necreals. We got ten keys in one single task, where we killed 390 Necreals. I guess we can go for the first opening now. Twelve keys at the ready. Can we just be done? I mean, it's only one-tenth of the drop rate. It's one in 128 to get one of the two pieces I'm missing, so I'm not expecting anything yet. And it's not looking like we get lucky as expected. That's fine. All right, we have another 100 points, so let's also extend Dust Devils. But I guess I should get a task first to make sure I don't have to skip Chaos Druids. That's fine. Let's uh, extend Dust Devils, and we'll be good. I guess when we get skeletons or spiders or bears, I should... Also probably do the wildy bosses, so who knows, maybe we'll get a Void Waker piece. Let's find out. Should be quick anyways, because the dogs also count for this one. Oh, no way! No way! Oh my god. I just got the pet on the third kill or something like that. No shot, I got Vetti and Junior at... <laughs> Wait, how many kills was that? Six kills. I just got the pet. Oh my god, I'm not even in the clan because some guy was sniping me. Well, that's cool. Uh, I guess it's been a while since I got a pet. 
Ah, uh, that's cool. That is neat. Well, back we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm only doing three, that's for sure. <laughs> the first revenant task, 135. Let's see if we get something. Um, there's an ancient crystal already. That's nice. I guess we'll bank that. That was on kill number six. No fucking way. Oh my god. Oh my god, we got a weapon. What the fuck? First revenant task, we get Temeral Scepter. Get out of here. <laughs> There is no fucking way. In one day of just doing Wildy Slayer, we get a Vetian Pet and a Thameron Scepter. <laughs> I'm still not in the CC, so people don't even see it. Oh my god. Would I have preferred the other two? Probably, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be complaining whatsoever. We take those. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh, Thameron Scepter. We're just working on the Master Theater already without even being there. Let's smack the skull of Vetian on there as well. The first weapon upgrade, bada bing, bada boom, a cursed scepter has been obtained. <laughs> wow, was not expecting that, but there it is. 8 out of 14 on the revenant log, baby. Let's see if we can just instantly complete the task after getting that scepter as well, that would be beautiful. We only have 7 keys right now, but you never know, right? Here we go. Never lucky. I mean, I say that right after getting a revenant weapon. Uh, 117 total, KC now 19 on the task. Back to revenants. Oh my god, I thought I got something, but it's a duplicate emblem. But that's 4 mil. Money! Now this is another good task. I was doing jellies earlier with my scepter, which makes um, any spell stronger if you autocast with it, so... We're gonna use it here as well, I reckon, together with a cannon. We're gonna get so many kills and hopefully a lot of keys as well. Oh my god! That is not an imbued heart from the superior, but that is another abyssal whip. Close. I saw the, I saw the beam. I got excited, but I think it's, it would be a pink beam anyways. But yeah, that's, that's still cool. We're rocking up to the chest again. We have 16 keys available after that abyssal demon task. We got a few more. Let's see what we get today. Last key, and nothing. 35 keys open so far on this task. 133 in total. Still just a one body so far. 100 Wildy Slayer task streak, giving us 625 points. Let's go. Beautiful. I have a bear task of 70. I I guess I'm going back to Arteo. Maybe, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll get another pet. Maybe we'll get a Void Waker hilt. Maybe we'll get a ring. Who knows? Well, we did actually end up getting three Laren's keys from the Arteo task, so that was pretty lucky, I'd say. No unique drops, but we are back to 10 keys, so let's see if we're lucky. It's gonna get us to 45 keys opened on this task. Oh my god! Oh my god, we got the hat! Oh my god, we got the fucking hat, baby! Let's open the rest of the keys as well, give me the bottom, do it. Do it. Do it. Give me the bottom. No, too much to ask. But we got the hat. We are free. We're done. Oh shit, Sander. No. Ah! Run. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <sighs> we opened. Oh no, my run energy. Uh, he's not going to attack me, is he? 45 keys is all it took. 143 in total. Well, a bit less. Obviously, we got it at 139. Ah, we're down to the final two tasks, ladies and gentlemen. Just some LMS and next left in the elite tier. The final stretch. I'm happy that this task wasn't the bad one. That we didn't go dry for the Dagon High Peas. This could have been very bad. But luckily, we got it at about one third of the drop rate for this task. Let's go! 1,090 log slots. Look at that. One hat, one top. Imagine if we get the bottom next and we don't get any duplicates. That would be amazing. We'll find out if that happens in the master tier. It could have definitely been a lot worse than just three days of wilderness slayer. But there it is. The Dagon Hyde ropes piece has been obtained. And just like that, it's down to the final two tasks. So by generating this one, we'll also know what the absolute last task of the series will be. We just have next unique and LMS left. Here we go. Boop. The next task is LMS. So that means that we are finishing with a unique from Nyx, which is going to be another amazing item to obtain right at the end. 
But first, a little bit of last man standing for the final Golden God Sword special. I believe that's only 75 points that we have to get. So it's just a matter of hours, not days, to complete this task. And then it's finally time for the very last one. So the only one we're missing here is the Golden Bandos special. 75 points is all we need. Do we have any? We have one point at the ready, so we'll have to get 74 more. Time for some more PvP. It's been a very long time since I've done LMS, but I guess we've been facing some PKers at the Wildy Bosses recently, so we have had a little bit of training, although I don't think it'll matter too much at LMS. We'll just have to get used to everything again, but who knows? Maybe we'll get some wins in as well. Let's find out. Well, I guess we get a win. <laughs> I guess we get a win on the first game. Seven points in my pocket. Oh my god. That's pretty nice. We got so many kills there. How many kills did we have? I think we had like six kills, but most of them were just people AFK. So I guess that does make it easier. How many wins do we have now? 21. Can we get the back-to-back -back win? Oh god. I'm rank one, level three. Hmm. Now the question is, is the last person alive a bot or a player? It's a player, but I don't think he's good. We won. Let's go! Two wins in two games. Let's keep this up and we'll be done in no time. How a zero? No shot! Wait, wait, who wins? Wait, hang on. Did I win or not? I don't know if I got a win from that. <laughs> Do we both win? I think I won. It says I'm victorious. We got 21 wins from the first win, and now we have 23, so... Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> three for three, baby. Four out of four! We're gonna do wins only for this task, okay? <laughs> no! Unlucky! The fifth game was our downfall. It's fine, it's fine. We'll get back to it. All right, where's this last guy? Hello, give me my win. Stop wasting my time. Where are you hiding? The fog is coming. I guess he'll appear soon. Oh, he just died. Okay, cool. <laughs> win number five. No! The fucking AGS out of nowhere. That's unfortunate. Second place. Man, I was totally gonna win that if I didn't choke on the AGS. The random AGS. He was t claw specking me before that. Aww. Wait, why is he one HP? Wait, hang on. Wait, he died. <laughs> okay. Let's go! We are victorious, baby. I have a feeling I'm not gonna win this. Damn, that was close. 33 HP. But we get another win, baby. Oh my day. Seven more points. Thank you very much. How many wins is that now already? I don't even know. I'm not keeping track. Seven wins on this task alone. If we keep it up like that, we'll get the 1000 win cape someday. 20 points to go until we're done though. We have another victory. Let's go. We'll just wait for the bot to die or appear and then we kill him. We won. <laughs> it's pretty easy that way. 69 points. And for my last game, we just wait and win again because it's another bot hiding somewhere. Good fight. Okay, we still got the win. Oh, hi. <laughs> Let's go. We have 80 points. We have five extra. How many wins did we end up getting on this task? We went from 20 to 29. So it's pretty free right now, it seems, to get some LMS wins with all the easy bots that just literally AFK and die to you. So if ever a moment to do LMS, it is right now. Anyways, we have enough points. We have 80. We need 75. Let's buy the Golden Bandles Special. There it is. 1091 collection lock slots we now have all the golden god sword special attacks and we are down to the very last task of the elite here let's grab our bandos god sword let's give it a little spin where's a rat any rats available for me to attack put on piety Shling! Look at that beautiful golden special attack. Wow. That's what we did all of this for. Didn't take long. Probably like two and a half hours or something to get those points. So very, very easy indeed. I can't wait to find out what my last task is going to be. <laughs> oh boy. Are you guys ready? Clicking complete task for the second to last time ever. And we are now 99% with just one remaining task. The final click on the generate task button that I've been clicking for the last four years. 
And there it is, the final task, the unique drop from God Wars Dungeon, meaning next. And yes, I will be doing more masses because I don't like playing with other people. Sue me. <laughs> I don't like having to organize teams, okay? I'm gonna do more mass next. This could still take a while, maybe like a thousand kills, maybe two thousand kills. But they go by pretty quickly. It's kind of like doing Winter Todd in a way, but for PVM. So let's see what happens. Like, we might even spoon it. Who knows? We might even spoon the unique straight away. There's the final task of the entire series after four years. Let's get going. Could you imagine? The one chosen egg at the end of the elite tier? Wow, nice bait. <laughs> oh, unfortunate. 68 offerings. Now I do kind of want to go check my kingdom just to get to 69 or something. Let's go check real quick. I think I should have maybe one or two more eggs there. Can we please get some bird eggs? Ooh, six. All right, that's going to get us to 75 in total. So that's not bad, actually. Didn't really expect this many. Plus, I guess we can uh, definitely use the nests as well for some more brews at next. Even though we still have 300 in the bank, which is going to last us quite a while for some masses. But always nice to have extras, I suppose. Let's top up the coffer and let's see if we get lucky with the eggs. Okay, let me correct myself because I'm an idiot. We're at 68, so this is going to put us at 74 with an evil chicken piece? Nah, that would be silly. All right. All right, just finished making all the brews I could with the nests I had. And now we have plenty of supplies for a little bit. I guess it's time to get started with some necks. Wait, how many bolts do we still have? Uh, we have some ruby bolts still. And I guess I can still make a bunch more when we need to, so nothing to worry about. We will be all decked out in our max range gear almost, and we'll be getting many MVPs and many elite clues along the way that we can open at the start of the Master 2. Listen, I have no memory of any of my supplies, okay? So we're just gonna go in and hope for the best. We do have the Zerad Van Braces now, so that's a very good ancient item instead of the normal ancient van braces that's gonna help a little bit we're just gonna do the same thing we did last time do some masses hope for the best see if we can get a bunch of mvps probably get a bunch of elite clues along the way as well build up the elite casket stack a bit more we're starting with 60 so let's see how many we can get up to from just final next grind what if we just get it right now on the first kill close we're starting at 736 kill count well, that is kill number seven, and we already get our first elite clue of the task. I'm still gonna finish the trip every time, because otherwise I'm gonna be leaving all the time. Ooh, I was gonna leave after this kill. There's the first item we see, the Torva Full Helm for Zugoya after 20 kills. A second item we see at 777 total kill count. The Nile Horn for Unlucky Rocky. I guess he's not that unlucky after all. Just realized we went over 800 total kill count. 802 now, 64 on this task. One thing's for sure, I'm very happy that they made the change where you can use the Slayer Helm to completely eliminate the cough's effect so you don't get cough whatsoever because my god would it still be as bad as last time. Luckily, no longer the case, no more big raggers and stuff like that. Definitely makes the next masses a lot nicer. First 100 kills done on the task. We actually got another elite earlier as well, alongside someone else getting Vam braces. No! <laughs> My MVP and this guy gets Torva played legs. There it is. Nada. We're up to 900 kill count. On the road to four digits. That was kill number 200 on the task. 940 total. On the way to 1000 total. Soon TM. Wait, it happened again. Last time I got an elite clue, someone else got Zerite Van Braces. Now I get an elite clue, someone gets a Torva Full Helm. And of course, it's the first kill of the trip, so now I have to sit here with this elite clue for the entire trip. Torva Played Body for the Brown Boy X. This guy right here in his full carols with a dragon crossbow and ancient dehyde boots. <laughs> Another Torva Played Body for Cyan. Look at that, four digits on the next kill count in total, that's 1,000 now. We've already had 99 of these Nile shards on this task alone in about 260 kills, so... I've heard many times that 350 of these shards marks about the drop rate for a personal unique, so... That means we have... we are on track to have our personal drop rate below 1,000 kills, which is pretty alright considering the team size is usually around like 20 to 30 here. 
Was quickly making some more potions and I was close to a herb lore level, so figured I may as well just get it. 91 herb lore. We can now make extended anti-fire mix and forgotten bruise, both of which we will probably never make. Already went over 300 KC now on the task. Ah, it took a while to see a drop today, but there's Zerite Van Braces for Aljo. Ooh, and there's the first hilt we see for Luna. Gotta be kidding, that doesn't look like someone that's happy with it, I guess. <laughs> Another Zerite Van Braces. Whoa, rune sword and a drop actually, true, yeah. Kill number 400 on the task. We're up to 10 elite clues now. And no unique yet, but that's fine. 34 times we've been MVP. And we're up to 146 Nile shards right now. So I want to say over one third of the personal drop rate. No way, Muppet actually sniped a drop. He literally announced it. He said, I'm gonna join you with some necks and I'm gonna snipe a drop. And there it is, the Torva full helm. Oh my god. Oh, a Nile horn for someone else. Hey, is that Rowan GTR? No, <laughs> Nile horn on my MVP. No. <laughs> Oh wait, that was kill number 500 on the task. 500 necks have been slain. We're about half the personal drop rate now for a unique. Something happened and I died. I stood underneath necks in the shadow phase for some reason. All right, last kill was actually already 600 on the task. So this one, 601. We've had 246 of the Nile shards so far as well. So if people are saying that it's one in 350 of those to get a personal drop, I guess that means we're over two-thirds of the drop rate, but based on the kill count, I wouldn't say we are. Ooh, there's another pair of Zerite Van Braces for Destiny. Wait, that's literally the guy I said earlier in full Dehyde and Dragon Crossbow. Might be a bot. He has like 5,000 next KC. Okay, it's not a bot. Must be a gold farmer. I don't know. But anyways, we got an elite clue. Oh my god! Oh my god! We got the Torva Helm! We got the Torva Helm! Holy shit! Holy shit, we're done! Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! Get out! Get out! We did it! We fucking did it! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> what the hell? Dude, that came out of nowhere! Oh my god, we got the Torva Helm! 1,392 next kill count. 647 on the task. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Oh my god. We just finished the series. We just, we just did the final task. I don't know what to do now. I'm panicking. I don't know how to deal with this. I've been working on this for four years. We just got the very last item. What the hell? Here's the log on Nex. Look at that. 1,392 mass kills for the Zerite Van Braces and now also the Torva Helm. I had 300 Nile shards there on the task. So we were getting close to the drop rate, but I don't think we were quite at the personal drop rate just yet in 647 kills. But I mean, it's not that spoon, I guess, right? But we got it. <laughs> Oh boy, let's see how it works. Let's make the helm. I need I have some bandos items that I can use so let's get rid of one of these tacits. It's time to make the helm to solidify the completion of the generate task series. How does this work? Do I use this on the forge? Turn the tacits into two components. Yes, do that. And now we use the helm on the anvil. Repair the tour of a full helm. Dude, this takes ages. There it is, Torva, full helm obtained. Oh my god, look at that beauty. The final item obtained. Let me get out of this prison. I don't really know what to say, man. Here we are, fucking four years after we started this journey here in Lumbridge. Without any plans or goals or aspirations, we just went and started a journey that I had no idea where it would go. <laughs> And here we are, fucking 100% elite. 
We're finishing with 1092 collection lock slots, 247 days playtime. We've completed all quests, all achievement diaries, we have all music tracks unlocked, and we have 2136 total. But you know what they say, when one door closes, another one opens, and it's time to open the next door. It's time to begin the master tier. Here we go. I don't know if I'm ready for this, man. Once again, four years ago. April 2019, I clicked this button for the first time. We started with 0% on all of these. <laughs> and it's time to click the complete task button for the last fucking time. We did it! We fucking did it! Shit, <laughs> I'm happy. Why am I crying? Ah! <laughs> fucking hell, man. I don't know why I'm crying, but it's so weird to see. 100% on all of these. I dedicated my life to this shit for four years now, man. I just feel like I've completed such a big thing in my life right now. Whoo! Get it out of my system. Thank you guys for being here. This is a special moment, okay? I appreciate you all so much for sticking with me <laughs> throughout these years. Thank you for all the support. <sighs> and I promise you I'm not done, okay? It's just the end of a big chapter. But a new chapter begins right here, right now. We're not done with the collection log. It's time to change things. It's time to step away from the spreadsheet. Because the master tier has something new in store for us. And it's time to start that right now. Let's fucking go. Yep, there it is. 